YouTube, Gijara coming at you with another review. Today we will be looking at the Pursuit of Cobra Sky Striker with Pilot Ace. And we are going to take a look at this, but for right now let's put Ace aside. We want to look at the Sky Striker itself. Now I am having trouble deciding how I want to review this. Do I review it as the pure homage that it was meant to be, or do I review it as the G.I. Joe next-gen vehicle that it should be? And both of them have their pros and cons, but let's take a look at it and we'll let you all decide for yourself. First off, let's bring it in close and look at the details on this. We have some nice detailing. Could use a bit more on the paneling side details, but it does work. You can see the nose gun here. Nice detailing on the panel there. Lots of decals, tons of decals, and the decals are customizable. You can use Ace name for the pilot, or you can use Dukes, or you can use Shipwrecks, you can even use Snake Eyes, whichever you choose to take. Lots of good decals on there. We've got the missile connection system. The wheels do roll as they should. Much better than yesterday's Night Raven, I will say that. Got the Sky, Sky Striker logo there. Come down the back. Lots of good details there. Let's go up the front. Lots of no steps. They really want you to know you're not supposed to walk on this thing. The panel here does remove on both sides. And we're going to see if I could get that off it there. There we go. Yes, it comes off and it falls. Okay, now we're going to take a look in here at the detail inside. And yes, you could really see some nice details in there. Would have been nice if they had picked it out in some paint, but, well, the sucker was expensive enough as it was, so. Got some vent paneling there. Come down, the cockpit. Very nice clear glass. It's molded all in gray. Tail fins are mold molded in black. Come down here, see, all molded in black. Oops, focus in on it. And open up the cockpit. This is where this puppy really shines, and this is where it really fails. Now, unlike the original Sky Striker, this one is a one seater. But. They took what they had for the one-seater and ma or for the two-seater. They made it a one-seater and just added tons of nice detail in there. Got the joysticks on the side like the X-14 should. Got the radar panel display. Even has the ejection seat cables for pull. This is a nice vehicle. This is a nice homage. I do think that, despite it being an homage, they would have done better if they had given us a more modern vehicle, say the F-22 Raptor. Actually, I would have loved to have had the F-22 Raptor update the Sky Striker. That would have been nice. Now, the wings are the sweep wings of the original, and you just pull that lever forward, and the wings go in giving us the nice sleep style of the original Tomcat. They also, that switch also works the wheels, which go up nice. It is a smooth, nice smooth transition, despite the lack of the springs that the original had. Works real well. The I would have liked to have seen it not be connected to the wings. The 
X14 flies both with the wings out and in, but it does not fly with the wheels down. It would have been nice if they were separated so that you can have it in both positions. I am certain there is a way to fix that if you open her up and look at the details inside. However, I really don't think I want to try and do that on my own. This is the only Sky Striker I have and I'd hate to destroy it. Put the panel back on here. And like I said, the panel's on both sides, so you get some nice maintenance work in there. Now the Sky Striker does come with accessories. It comes with the two sparrows, and they fit underneath the cockpit, and these fit really well. They are a nice set. We're going to take a look into the detail on that. Got the nice four fins. Not a lot of paint work on that, but then it is a small piece didn't really need detail, decals or anything and it sits right under the nose uh, the cockpit of the jet it also comes with the big bad boys comes with two of those and they fit right down here like so the missiles are not very stable under there. They fall off with just a slight touch. Take a look in here and you can see they did include decals HP-10XF. Got the little danger logo there. And yes, that is a nice missile and it also right there. Now, yeah, see they don't like to fit up there all that well. They do fall on a whim. And then we also include two sparrows. And let's see if we can get one of those on. And it fits right underneath the wing. Like so. And we'll do it to this side, but let's take a quick look at it. And yeah. It is a nice missile. This is the missile complement of the standard X-14 Tomcat. And that's with the missiles. It also includes the extra fuel pod. Now, scale-wise, this is not this is not perfect. In fact, this is much smaller than the Tomcat should really be. Now that fuel pod fits right underneath here, and I think I had it backwards. It does fit only one way, so you are certain to put it on the right way each and every time. And it fits right under there. Nice detail. Gives it a nice, very good look for the underneath. Like I said, these things fall off on a whim. Now I know that the various Comic-Con versions, um, Joe-Con, San Diego Comic-Con, the various versions that they have come out with since have fixed this issue, but on the original, it was a pain in the ass. So that is the Sky Striker. Like I said, I would have preferred that it had been a more modern, updated vehicle, something that's actually in use nowadays, not something that was used yesterday. Kind of get the vibe of Sar Sergeant Savage bringing in the World War II soldiers and vehicles into modern day, and you say, how is that supposed to do anything? Well, you know would have been good to have something more updated. Now, it also includes the pilot Ace, Captain Brad, Arm Brewster, and let's just take a look at that head sculpt. It is a nice head sculpt. And we need to get, there we go, zoomed right in on that. Nice brown hair, 
nice detailing. Come down, he has the skydive arms and the rene uh, not the renegades, the um, Resolute Duke torso. I actually had to look that up because I don't own any Resolute figures. But lots of nice detailing. You can see how this would work as a very good pilot uniform for somebody going supersonic. He has the Air Viper legs done in a I want to say puke green. I hate using that word for this because it does look really good. Followed by a darker green for his chaps. He has the green knee pads. Got Skydive's legs. I'm not certain whose feet those are. They are very nice. Includes a holster on his left leg. Come up the back. Black arm, black, uh, elbow pads, nice detailing on the back of the flight suit. Now for articulation, he does, his head is on a ball joint, he does do the Poltergeist 360. He can look up that far, he looks down that far. Let's zoom in, he does look down. Okay, and his arms are on a swivel. They can do a full 360, and they can go out that far. Yeah, just straight 90 degrees out. His elbow joint can do under 90 degree articulate bend. They do swivel at the elbow. His hands swivel at the wrist. No upward, downward, or inward joints on the wrist. He has bicep swivel. His feet, his legs are on a T ball joint. They can go out that far. Almost full splits. They can go up that, that far. Go back. Hmm. No, not really can't really go back a whole lot. He does have double jointed knees. Let's take a look at what kind of... And not a whole lot. He, he does have some good articulation there, just not full back. He has no thigh articulation, but then none of the Joes really did. He does have ankle articulation. They can turn all the way around. They go up that far and they go down that far. I also like the little handles that they put on the back of the boot. I'm not certain why Ace would need them, but they do look good. And so we have Ace Brad Armbruster of Captain J. Brad Armbruster the Gambler of the Joe. Now he does have his accessories as well. He comes with his M1911A1 auto pistol. Let's get a close up at that. And we're trying to get closer and just not having a good job zooming in on that. There we go. Wait a minute. There we go. It's a nice weapon, not incredibly detailed, but you see enough to know what it is. And it fits very snugly into his holster, like so. He does also include his leg harness belt. This is probably the hardest piece to work with. It's a nice detail. You get a kind of a look of leather on that. Let's take a look. There we go. We can see that. It does have kind of a leathery look to it. 
although it is still the same green so there's not a whole lot of detail in there and it fits over his legs like so and up probably should have put this on before I put the gun in okay we got it it goes over his legs comes up and the belt goes around his waist around the back and what did I mess up on because that's not good let's try this again because the belt was supposed to go where did I mess up did I put it on backwards suppose that is a possibility let's take a look okay wait a minute ah there we go okay put that on like that slide it up his legs and around his waist and just snap it in it is a soft rubber so snapping it in was actually quite easy okay and that's him with his leg harness now he also comes with what they are calling his parachute black pack it is done in black the rubber is slightly harder it's got a lot of nice detail in there Keep it in the light so we can see. You can see just all sorts of little doodads and such on the pack. You can see the pull bar right there. This goes around his waist, over the belt, sits in the front. And this here is the emergency chute in case the ejection chute does not work. Just plug it in and snap, and that snaps right into place. No fuss, no muss. And then next he includes his actual flight vest. And this is a nice touch. Very well detailed. It is a soft rubber plastic, molded in green with some black and gray highlights. Now to put this on, you must decapitate the figure, pop this over the neck, lift the arms out of the way so you can get to the strap buttons. Again, soft leather, or soft plastic, makes this difficult to plug in, but once you get it plugged in, it stays really nice. There's that one. Let's do this one here. There's that one. Now we recapitate. Oops. Told you. Soft plastic. I didn't quite have it in the way I was supposed to. Resnap it. Resnap. There we go. That is Ace with his flight vest on. And for his final accessory, he does come with his helmet. Now this is the most up-to-date accessory that I have seen him with. It is molded in black. No, it's molded in clear. It's a clear yellow visor. Zoom in on that, and you can see it's just a little dusty and just a little bit out of focus. Done with some black and gray detailing. The hose is a very nice touch. Now this is a modern uptake of his helmet. It is based on the F-35 helmet targeting system that is used by the military today. Lots of nice detail. I actually had to look that up. I won't know the difference, really. But hey, that's what the internet's for, isn't it? Trust Google, it knows all. But yes, it is a very nice helmet, and it fits right over his head, very nice and snug. Of course, trying to see through it 
is a bit difficult. Oh, yeah, you can see some of his face in there. A bit. He does fit into the cockpit of the Sky Striker, as he should. Now, if you want to be patient, you can even get him to hold the joysticks on in the cockpit. Let's get him in there. However, I am not that patient, and certainly not that patient with only eight minutes left of recording time. So I'm not going to try. He cannot grab the ejection pull system. Unfortunately, his arms do not bend that well. Would have been nice if they did, and once again, that falls off. I'll tell you something. I have found that if you switch the missiles around and put the big one under the wing, like so, it does fit better, less likely to fall off. So that's how I've been having this displayed with the missiles. But, you know, you're, again, your mileage may vary. If you've got one of the newer Sky Strikers, it will work better. But this is what I got. And this is really a nice look. Like I said, if you want, if you have the patience to do so, you can have Ace grab the joysticks on either side of the cockpit. I do not have that kind of patience. I'm not going to try. And let's see. I do. I, I like the jet. I really do. It's a nice homage to the original Sky Striker. But I think that we would have been better off updating to an F-22, which is basically our look at next-gen military warfare. The body is all in gray with just the black tail fins. Like I said, there's... There's two ways I could go. Yes, it is great homage to the original. Would have liked to have seen a bit of engineering done on this to allow for both pilots into the cockpit the way the original was. But it is not something that we got. It is not something we are likely to get. So we are stuck with a one-person F-14 old-school jet fighter. Yeah, that's what we got, and that's what we got to play with. Okay, not that we play with them, we display them. We're, we're, we're collectors, we're not kids. We display them. Yeah, right, uh-huh, no, we don't play with them. No, do we? Do we play with them? No, I don't think we, no, okay. Anyways, this is the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra Sky Striker with Captain... J. Brad Armbruster, a.k.a. Ace. This is Gajara with Nerdtopia. You can find this on Big Bad Toy Store. You can find this at Amazon.com. You can find this on eBay. The prices will be outrageous. You should have caught this when it was on the shelves. It was cheaper then. But you can if you are a collection, a collector and you kind of like to have everything that was in the system. Yeah, you can try and find this on eBay and on Amazon.com. Of course, you can also find some of the more updated versions, the Sky Patrol version, the Starscream version. Yeah, you can find all those just about anywhere on the net. Um, eBay, Amazon... Like I said, you might be able to find some on Big Bad Toy Store. I will try and put links of those into the description if I can find them. This is Gajaro with Nerdtopia. This is the Pursuit of Cobra Sky Striker with Ace. And we are going to bid you all a good day. We will come back again with another review in the future.